Hello everybody, this is Tina, I'm the Painted Witch, if this is the first time watching one of my videos, and I am here today to share with you a new journal reveal. I am so happy to share this one with you because I love the way she turned out. This was um, a play on acrylic inks and India ink and some even some rubbing alcohol to get some fun little effects here. Um, so I had a lot of fun playing with her and, and I hope she has that energy of funness and trying out new things that um, whoever ends up owning her or owning this journal will will feel that and see that and, and, it, and it will invite you to want to try new things and explore new things inside the journal. So let's just dive in. <laughs> so as you can see, this is another one of my um, hand sketched faces where I used charcoal, um, charcoal pencils, and like I said, acrylic inks and India inks and all that uh, fun stuff. Um, I've added a button closure with some hand dyed fabric, a bead, and a little charm here, Tree of Life charm, and this just unwinds to open it up. The spine here, I've just added some fun little colorful yarn and a little friendship bead here with some colorful beads on it. Um, this is not what's holding the pages together. Um, as every, if anybody has watched me many times do my journal reveals, all of my hand journal, my, my handmade journals are hand stitched with wax thread. So I do not have the pages being held in by by this. This is just for decoration. The back is covered in fabric and I've added some um, cotton canvas here and did some splatters with acrylic inks and stuff just to add that little bit of fun with it. I love it. Perfectly grungy. So let's go inside. So this is what the inside looks like. I'm just going to quickly flip through this little um, tag here. I left plain so you can do whatever, you know, your creativity calls for. And it's being held in by a cute little paper clip. One of my painted labels here used as a paper tab. Magazine paper. This is old pattern paper. This flips up. This is a pocket envelope that you can tuck in little things, little notes, poems, quotes. Some tissue paper from an old pattern, some old book pages, graph paper scraps, newsprint scraps, origami paper, some collage, some of that old ledger paper from an antique book, or an old book I got at an antique market. Black lined paper, which is really great if you have like white or other light colored um, jelly roll pens or um, acrylic pens. Some old book page, beautifully yellowed. This little Tim Holtz die cut um, is just attached with a little paper clip. And also this little card here you could use. I did some jelly um, printing on it. It's got this really kind of crackle effect on it, if you could see that. Looks really cool and I love the colors. Um, but you could use that as um, like a trading card if you do that art trading um, swap with some another artist. Um, you can certainly use that. The other side is blank. This is old music sheet. This flips up. One of my sketches of my flowers. Lots of splatters inside the book. Another yellowed page. Ledger paper. Just some fabric here you could use if you wanted to add that to a collage thing, um, art that you're doing to add some texture. So that's just paper clipped in, so easy to remove. This flips up like that. Some of that tissue, the old pattern. Uh, another envelope pocket with some collage scraps in it. Oops, I missed a page. There we go. And there we go to the back of the book. 
So this journal is now available on my website at the paintedwitchstudio.com. I hope you're having a fantastic day, everybody, or even a fantastic week. Um, but thank you so much for watching. And as, as always, take care of yourself.